Hi, I'm going to show you how I make my memorial ornament template. First, I take a circle uh, from the shapes area, and I make the circle about, I say about a quarter of, quarter of an inch smaller than the actual size of the ornament. My ornaments that I use are 3.15 inches, so I make this one 2.9, and then I take the square for the top part, and that measures to about a little over half an inch. So I make my square just a little under that, or close to that, I'm sorry. And then I go ahead and take the square, and I'm going to put it at the top so that it makes the ornament shape. And then I, I go ahead and I, I select all. You're going to cover it all. And then you want to go ahead and align it so that it's centered, just to make sure everything's good, because it's hard to tell if you have it right in the middle. And then I'm going to, you're going to select the shape, all together the two shapes, and you want them to go together so that when it prints out, it'll be one piece, so you want to weld it. When it welds it, it makes that ornament piece all together. And then I usually change it to a yellow just so I can see it real well. And as you can see, the quote is kind of behind it, so you want to send it to the front. And I bought this quote off of Etsy. They have tons of other options you can use if you don't like this one. I just like this one. And I just put it to the side. And then you want to go ahead and grab the photo that you would like to use for the memorial ornament. I'm using my grandparents' photo. It's a photo of them when they were young. And I just kind of size it and uh, cut it out to fit onto the ornament. So you want to go ahead and take a shape. It can be any shape you want. You don't have to do the circle. But I like to use the circle because I believe it looks better, honestly. I just think it goes better with the round ornament. It looks kind of funny when you use a square. But I know some people like the square. So I go ahead and make an oval shape or circle shape. And I usually only use one person for this, but for some reason I just decided to use their photo because I didn't want to use someone else's. So I'm cutting out both of their faces. It's usually much easier with one person, uh, but I'm taking their faces and making sure I can fit both of them in there pretty good. I know it's not going to get everything, but I try to get what I can. And you want to go ahead and select both the shape and the photo and slice it once you think you got like a good shape for them and then I kind of mess with it to see what size I'd like and how it'd look good uh, with the quote usually black and white photos they're not going to show up real well like I'm sorry the black quotes the black like lettering isn't going to show up very well on top of a black and white photo so I'm going to have to take this and kind of separate the quote from the photo instead of letting it kind of overlap. Some photos you can make it overlap and it looks fine. It actually looks really good that way. And that's usually with the color photos that are brighter. But if it's black on black, it's hard to see with the transparent paper that you're going to use or the projection paper. Uh, that's what you're going to print it on is projection paper, which I'll put a link in the description for the kind that you'll need. And then I'm just showing you here that you can go ahead and put in the, like you can put in like a name, a date. I've had people ask for like, you know, the name or like a little something that they remember them by. Just to put underneath the quote, just something personalized. And I just pick like one of these fonts that, it doesn't matter, it's whatever, you know, you like. I usually pick something that just looks like real fancy, uh, but I'm just showing you right now, so I'm not being too picky. And you want to select both that uh, font, I'm sorry, not, not font, but text, and the shape real carefully and put center. Not the quote, but just the name or whatever you choose to put at the bottom. And then I, you know, make sure everything looks okay, just kind of fix it up, make sure that's how I want it to be printed off. And I will say, be careful putting the quote too close to the ends, 
like you just want to have a little bit of space from the ends to the coat just to make sure it doesn't get cut off because you know it's not perfect when it cuts sometimes you might cut a little bit closer so that's why you want to make sure it's not too close to the edge like how that because where it is how the E's not right up against the border you want to make sure it's like that and like I said I can show you a video I can make a video of how I stuff these like how I put the feathers in and how I actually do the ornaments this is just like the template if you've been wondering how to do that and so you want to flatten everything that's what I just did I selected everything hit flatten hit make and then it's going to send to your printer and it creates some kind of code that's that square part the square line in black uh, that's some kind of code if you're not familiar with the print cut that goes to uh, it shows your Cricut how to cut it and so you feed it into the Cricut after it prints it out you do want to let it dry I do want to mention that you do want to let it dry for a minute because the projector paper it's kind of slick so the ink's not going to dry right away like it does with paper so I always let it kind of sit there on the desk or whatever I have just for like a little bit while I do other things and then I go ahead and I feed it into the Cricut the Cricut cuts it in that perfect shape and then I you know I have my ornaments and you can usually fit at least with my size ornaments you can usually fit about four so I usually try to do a couple like if I'm doing multiples I usually try to do four like them in fours and it's it's a really nice thing it's nice to make for somebody like if you know someone who just lost lost somebody or if you're just looking to uh, make some for yourself or whatever you decide uh, it's, it's really cute uh, it's something to have on the tree and I'll post the you know the links below for everything that you need and I can always make a video of everything too like a better breakdown of after the template part after you do that how you do it but this is the template for now and if you have any questions please just leave a comment feel free to ask or if you want to leave your own tip or just let me know if there's something else you want to see and thank you so much for watching my video and please like and subscribe and have a great day